Well, this is certainly an odd twist of events. I'm here in the Cadillac. I just got it fired back up after we lost the key. <laughs> but that's not important. What is important is I've got a person to meet. I've got a dear friend who is the person who is in possession of a very custom quad plate clutch. Yes, this woman who's a stay-at-home mom somehow has one of the world's strongest and coincidentally uh, similar identical clutches to mine. It almost looks like my backup clutch that you guys saw at SEMA that was stolen. So what I'm doing is I'm, well, she's, uh, she's ready. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and park the car and try and be fancy with my dash cam and GoPro. Maybe I'll catch it, maybe I won't. Uh, but we'll see what is about to transpire. I'm willing to pay her. I don't think that she's the person that broke into my car, but I am willing to pay her to basically let it go. Uh, I don't want to rock the boat. I have way more expensive things that I don't want messed with, and I feel like there's kind of an honor amongst thieves. If I pay the terrorists, negotiate with the hostage takers, maybe it all can go behind me, and then I'm gonna install more cameras on the outside. I don't have a single camera on the outside. I think it's time for that. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta go. Here's my fancy attempt at catching a criminal. <laughs> or I shouldn't say catching a criminal. I should just say documenting that I uh, really didn't fake stealing my own clutch. I really, <laughs> some random person took my damn clutch. I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but she wants to meet at a fast food restaurant right near my shop. There we go. Oh my god. Well, it took 27 minutes. She was inside <laughs> with a very interesting looking guy. <laughs> I don't even, I do want to know, but I don't want to know. Well, I have the clutch. I'm happy with that. I don't want to ask any other questions because I don't want to get anybody pushing in on me, preferably. Too much to lose. And she's definitely, she doesn't strike me as the type of person that's going to break into shops. There she is. And one of my biggest questions about how she knew what the clutch was is actually pretty answerable. I wondered how she knew it was a Mazda 13B. Uh, because it says it right there. <laughs> so, okay. So, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt that she knew nothing. But... Here we go. We have my baby clutch, secondary backup with its flywheel. Everything is here. What a weird end to that clutch saga. I'm just going to hide it. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put this thing into a vault and never let anybody else look at it or touch it or anything. It's staying hidden forever. One of the best parts about my experience is here is that I have amazing neighbors. Not only have they helped unload all of the fuel, which I don't have a forklift. There it is. For the one ethanol and all the E85 and the race E85 that I'm about to work on right now. They also saw me at the very end of this, taking the clutch back in the shop. I, of course, want to tell them the story about what had just happened. And they go, oh, let's check our cameras. So what I'm about to show you is their cameras after the fact. They caught the guy breaking into the insight for the second time. I'm gonna assume it's the same guy. I'm just gonna assume that by nature of he knew where he was going and what he was doing. Fortunately, in the shot, the CTSV is dead. The battery is completely dead, so there was no chance of doing anything with it. But this time, he took the damn 12 volt battery. So whatever, I'm out 150 bucks, makes for a good story. I bought a new one, uh, it's right here. <laughs> and there's a reason it's sitting on the floor and not in the car. The sad part about that is not only did he take the 12 volt battery, which is probably the most expensive thing he took out of the car, but he also took 
my gym bag, not the whole bag, no, he left me my clothes, but he also took the bag, just the bag, and my shampoo and conditioner, the little sampler things that I had for working out at the gym. And so if somebody really feels that those things are a value to take from some other human being, more power to you. That You need it more than I do. Well, not right now, and I need it badly right now. But <laughs> you need it more than I do. I'm gonna start installing more cameras and take care of this and just be a little bit more careful.